Hey everybody, we've got some great news. I finally found a working 3DS emulator that you guys are going to be able to download on your iOS and Android device, guys, for absolutely free. So this is the best 3DS emulator that I've ever found. And, you know, it comes with everything unlocked for absolutely free. You know, you're going to be able to get all the games loaded into it so you don't even have to download the ROMs or the ROMs from any external website. You're going to be able to get them all on the 3DS emulator called Citra. And I'm going to show you all in this video exactly how to download it for absolutely free. No jailbreak is required, guys. Let me go ahead and open it up and show you all that this is, that this is a working emulator. As you can see right now, I already have Super Mario Bros. 2 loaded up. And, you know, it's a 3DS em emulator version 2. So this is the best version of the emulator, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all in this video exactly how to download it for absolutely free on your iOS or Android device as well. And you don't have to jailbreak your device at all to get it. So... Make sure you watch this video all the way until the end because every single step is important to go ahead and ensure that you fully install the Citra emulator. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you all exactly how to download it, so let's get right into it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close up the emulator. Um, I know I didn't show too much gameplay. I'll, I'll uh, show you guys in another video. In this video, I just want to strictly show it, make this video just to show you all how to download it. So let's get right into it, guys. Before we can actually go ahead and download Citra emulator on our device, though, we just got to go ahead and make sure that our device is ready for the download. And what I mean by that is we just got to tweak some settings on both our iOS and Android device. So let's get right into it, guys. What you're going to want to do is open up the settings on your iOS device. Once you're in settings, you're going to want to go ahead and look for... Um, you're going to want to scroll down and look for general. So as you all can see, general is right there. So go ahead and open it up. Once you're in general, you're going to want to scroll down again and find background app refresh. So there it is right there. Go ahead and tap on that. And once you're in background app refresh, everybody just go ahead and make sure that you have this turned on to Wi-Fi and sell your data. So as you can see, we've successfully turned it on. Perfect. Now we're not done in the settings yet. What we're gonna want to do now is go ahead and go in the search bar and type in battery. Alright, so here we are, guys. What you're gonna want to do now is go ahead and make sure you have the low power mode off. Um, as you guys can see, we have that off. And also make sure your phone is charged to at least 10% battery. And once you guys have done all those steps, we're ready to go to continue. Those are the steps for the iOS device though. If you're on Android, don't worry guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what to do on Android. So take out your Android phone, and what you're gonna wanna do is pretty similar that we did on the iOS device. So go ahead, open up settings, and you're gonna wanna look for battery settings. So there it is right there. Open it up. In battery, you should see a setting called battery saver. As you guys can see, it's the first pop-up right there. So what we're gonna wanna do is just go ahead and make sure that you have this turned off. You don't want it on as it can interfere with the download of Citra emulator. Now, once you have it off there, also, if you have something called adaptive battery, make sure that's off as well. If you don't have this step, I mean, if you don't have this setting, just skip it for now and make sure your Android device has at least 10% battery. So the, those are the steps that we got to go ahead and complete for the iOS and Android before we can actually go ahead and download Citra. So once we've done all that, guys, we're ready to go ahead and continue. And now I'm, now I'm going to go ahead and show you all exactly how to download Citra emulator on your iOS or Android device. So to go ahead and get this app, it's pretty simple. It is a tweaked app though, so we're not going to be able to get it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. But just head over to the website, and then it's going to go ahead and fully load up. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all exactly what to do next in the next step. So once you guys are on the website, we're going to be able to go ahead and get Citra Emulator really easily. So use the search bar at the top and type in Citra. Oops. Ah, I cannot spell, guys. Bear with me. There it is right there, guys. Citra 3DS Emulator for iOS and Android. So what we're going to want to do now when we see it is go ahead and tap on it. And then you're going to see the star injection button right there, guys. Go ahead and tap on that button. And now all we got to do is just simply wait for this blue bar right here to finish loading. Give it about like 15 seconds or so. And it should fully load up and take us to the final part of the download. In the meantime, while we wait for this to load, guys, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video. And subscribe with all notifications on as I am trying to grow out the channel a lot. But yeah, guys, go ahead and do that. I'm going to take a sip of water and then I'll explain to you all what to do next. All right, so I just took my sip of water, guys. When you're doing a lot of talking in these videos, you know, your mouth gets really dry. But here is the final part of the download. It's going to go ahead and say, please follow and complete the instructions of two free offers below to finish the injection process. Now, I know it says two offers, but I, what I recommend you all to do is to go ahead and complete all of them on the list. And then that way, Citro Emulator will download successfully without any issues. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. What we're going to want to do is tap on one of the apps. Read the instructions that it tells you. So as you can see, this one's saying download and install this app. Then run it for 30 seconds to unlock this content. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this first application. Let's go ahead and open it up. And after you complete one of the apps, guys, all we're going to want to do is head back into a second one. And after that, we will have the full Citra emulator downloaded on our device for absolutely free. So let me head back now and go to choose another one. Let's go with um, Raid Shadow Legends. Read the instructions of it and do exactly as it says. 
Now, I'm not going to do all the apps in this. I know there's four apps, so that means I would have to go and do four. I recommend you guys doing all of them instead of two. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do all four because I don't want to make this video too long. Just trying to make this a quick tutorial for you all. It's already a bit long. It's like five minutes long. But yeah, after you guys have completed all the offers, Citra Emulator will download. And now we can go ahead and play any 3DS game on our, th on our phone for absolutely free. So thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Leave a like and subscribe and peace out, everybody.